Hello everyone and welcome to the Judge of Cleveland show. You know I missed you too. So, I know you missed a certain someone from last episode. So we decided to go into the prison that he was being held at and interview him. So, Mr. Dingle, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing okay. Doing, doing okay? okay? Yeah. It's good to see you again, man. Good to see you. So, you know, how's the prison life been for you? Prison life, well, it's been all right. I haven't dropped the soap yet. I haven't, you know, got any fights or beaten up by any of the prison. prison yeah. Team. But I have been in solitary confinement. That does help. Yeah, that, I would say that helps. So how have the, uh, like, prison guards been treating you? Oh, uh, they usually don't come to my cell because they know I'll do unspeakable things. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. It's smart on their end, but legally, I don't know how. You know. L legally, I think they should check up on you, but, you know, better for them. I get food sometimes, though. So, yeah. Sometimes? What there's do you mean Welch's, by sometimes? There's Welch's fruit snack up because they come from the roof sometimes. Uh, you know, speaking of prison, you know, we know about the crime. I was just wondering, why did you do it? Oh, it's okay. So I have something called tiny mouth syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. It uh, makes my mouth all tiny. So if I don't cut up any food that I eat, I'll uh, choke to death on it. Ah. You know, it's starting to make all sense, but you know it's still against the law. Why didn't you get, like... A medical prescription for you? Uh, so, my dad was a big sandwich cutter when he was around, so uh, I probably inherited it from him. Yeah. I cut my first ever sandwich in his workshop. In his workshop? Yeah. In Papa Dingle's workshop? In Papa Dingle's workshop. Was Mama Dingle ever there for any of this? We don't talk about Mima Dingle. We don't talk about Mima Dingle? No. Well, what about your uncle, uh, Jaja? You know, and I was wondering more about him because we don't really have Next a record question. on him. Uh, uh, Next question. Uh, okay, okay. So, you know, you're talking about your family has been big on cutting sandwiches. Well, your father. Yeah. I was wondering, did you hit that um, sandwich with the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start? Uh, so it depends. Like, if it was a really heavy bit, like rye bread, I would have to do that. Yeah. You know combo that sandwich but yeah. usually I didn't have any problems with like wheat bread or something yeah so speaking of family lines you know your brother Quandale Dingle right yeah I, I was wondering if you heard about his passing what he he died uh, two days ago I'm sorry for you I'm sorry for your loss okay uh, um okay uh, why don't we uh, move away from your family? Because yeah. it feels like it's a very close to you uh, yeah, topic. It's a very touchy subject. Yeah. So, uh, what were your most heinous crimes that you've committed? Okay, I say I have three. Uh, number 20, frog in a frozen vegetable bag. Uh, number four, bullets in hot dog. And number three, ice cream surprise. Uh, I, I heard about ice cream surprise. That fire station and those orphans <sighs> was not good. So, you know, your most heinous crimes are those three, right? No, no, three. But would you connect the Chinese spy balloon with you? I don't. What Chinese spy balloon? Where? Where? Where is it? The the one few months ago before you were in prison. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? No. It, it was all in the news. No, I don't know. Where, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean. I think we should move on. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, before something bad happens to one of us. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, loose question, but are those Jordans you're wearing fake? Yeah, they're probably real. Probably real? Probably real, yeah. So, you would say you're a big Jordans fan, I'm uh, presuming? No. No, the, the, why do you mostly wear Jordans? I've never seen you wear anything else. Uh, it's because they're, they're gold and shiny. It reminds me of the war. The, the war? The war. Oh, yeah. The blood. Oh. My friends. The gunshots. I lost everyone. Well, <laughs> Mr. Dingle. They were like brothers to me. <laughs> Mr. Dingle? I, it's always... I don't, it's, I don't know that. It, it's yeah. always uh, a pleasure to, you know... Get to see you and get to speak with you and you yeah, know. Of course, uh, you know we're we're long friends. Yeah, know. long friends. But it, it seems like that you know your prison guards want you back in solitary confinement. So it's good to see you again. It's good to see you too. No, no. 